Hello and welcome to another TVR training video. This video will be covering the faculty grade entry through the Banner Self-Service module. So once again, we are on the faculty portal. This is using the same login as the employee and any other information. And I'm seeing the same faculty tools that I use for recording attendance, entering leave, or anything else. So I'm going to select Enter Grades. As you can see, the grade sheet has opened within the Banner Self-Service application in our test environment. And the first thing you'll notice is that whereas attendance is entered in Banner, and I'll open that up for reference, by the student, and then by the course that is available for that student, the faculty grade entry, it goes by course and then by student. Um, so I also would like to demonstrate that I have two separate tabs open, so if there is a need to navigate from the attendance tracking module back to the grade entry module, I can do so without having to log in, log out, or anything other than navigating from one, one tab to the next. So the first thing I'd like to call out is this multiple columns here. Um, first is grading status. This will just notify the instructor if any students in that particular course have any grades assigned. So if there are no grades assigned, there will be not started displayed. If there's any grades whatsoever, you'll see in progress. And if it has actually been completed and all of the grades have been assigned for that course, it will show as completed. So I'm going to select the first one at the top here is worker characteristics for welding technology. And the first thing you'll notice is it does display all the grades that have been assigned for that course. So this one is nearly complete. Um, and I can also see the detail by selecting this right arrow at the right side of the screen, which will give me the course details. So you see it calls out that I have one grade remaining, 12 eligible, 12 graded final, but none of these have yet rolled. Uh, if I select another course, it will both display the same list of students that are available for grading and give me the information on the, information on the grades remaining. I will now minimize this to give a little bit better view of the screen. If I do need to assign grades, it is as simple as selecting um, the grade drop-down box, assigning the appropriate grade, and submitting save. And I get a save successful message. If I need to enter another grade in, I can go in, simply select a different grade for a different student, enter save, and the save is successful. Um, if the grades have not yet rolled and my processing is not complete and I need to make any updates, I can simply go back into the same field, select the null value, and saving that will also update the values. If I've entered in multiple grades and I decide that those don't, I do not want those applied, I can simply select the reset button and that will make sure that I want to remove all unsafe changes. But assuming I hit yes, it will actually take all the grades that I've entered out since my last save and can essentially wipe the slate clean. Um, Back to my top menu here, I can minimize this. The Roll tab will let me know whether or not a grade has been rolled and made final in the student's academic history. So this is scheduled to occur at two times. It will occur every night in a nightly batch process. So if you're coming in on a Friday and entering grades in for your students, you can expect that night for all those grades to roll to academic history. There will then be a final roll at the end of the term, which will roll all grades to history for that term. So none of these have started yet because we are still in our test environment. However, once that did start the roll, the information would display accordingly. So if I select another course, once again, you can see it's fairly straightforward. I have the ability to go in here, enter grades. Um, you will see I do have continuing as a grade option. So if I'm nearing the end of the term and I want to note that a student will be continuing, I do have the option to select that, although I would not expect to see it sorted in that same manner once we hit uh, the production environment and move on down the line and enter grades accordingly. Once again, if I hit save, it has now saved this. This is now prepared to roll to history once that nightly roll process occurs. A Couple other bits of functionality that might interest you. Um, because this is baseline banner functionality, there's a lot of navigation that is built in. So I can take a uh, one column and drag it over. So if I'm less interested in my subject, which I'm very aware of what I instruct, and more interested in the course and the worker characteristic, the title, I can do so. Um, I also have the ability to search. So if I just want to search for blueprint theory, I don't even have to finish entering in the full name, and it will navigate me accordingly to the two courses that are available. Further than that, if I do select a course and I want to navigate directly to a student, I can just begin to type in that student's name and it will automatically navigate to the appropriate student um, and take you in that direction. Clearing the search is as simple as 
backing out of the search criteria, and then it will then display all the terms as well. You will notice a couple other items here, midterm grades and gradebook. Um, these are not currently enabled for the majority of programs. Midterm grades are primarily going to be used for dual enrollment programs, and gradebook is not functionality that is going to be super effective for the TCATs and the way they instruct. Um, a couple other items to note before we move on. Um, we do have one grade listed here. This is the final grade. It is a numeric grade. So if there's any averaging, any combination of skills, theory, or other factors that get calculated into a student's grade, they all get calculated into the single grade here. So when I am entering this, that is the final grade for the student, I save and that, that is then complete. That is the basic functionality for entering grades. Um, if you are, have a small program, this will be a fairly straightforward process. Um, we will cover the upload and export, the export and import functionality in a different training video. Um, so if you are interested in learning more about that, please stay tuned and check our feed and you should see additional videos provided. Thank you once again for tuning into the training videos and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.